Well, guys, I am back. A lot of uh, friends and followers <clears throat> who've been asking me about uh, my idea or what is my feedback or what can I say about the, uh, well, they call it massacre, but uh, according to the uh, policemen or according to those CIDGs, um, it was actually a... Um, it was uh, an operation that they have to go and uh, serve him a warrant of, uh, uh, a search warrant, I should say, and that was the reason why they really had to do what they needed to do. Okay, they were just doing their job according to the uh, uh, CIDGs who actually went there. But and of course, um, there's a lot of uh, people also who've been uh, saying that uh, everything was set up and. Uh, the um, policemen were the ones who actually did the wrong, the wrong things because of whatever, so and so and so and so. Okay, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to uh, condemn anybody. It's either on the side of the policemen or on the side of uh, the the family of Parohino. But for me, I just wanna give my little peace. Okay. Because uh, as far as I'm concerned, from the very start, I've been uh, always um, against those who are drug lords or drug users, drug pushers and stuff like that. Because for me, as a victim, my family had become a victim of these circumstances because of this... Um, drugs and stuff like that and then of course you know my family has suffered especially me being a mother well i'm not gonna give uh, more details about that because that's not the topic here the topic is about what can i say about the operations that are being done by the policemen nowadays am i in favor or am i not in favor well, for me, because uh, being uh, somebody who's been always trying to uh, support, not only trying, but I have been supporting right from the start in terms of this, um, <clears throat> uh, in terms of stopping these drug pushers or drug users and stuff like that, because this has been a great problem, especially here in our country. So if we cannot do something about it, which we know uh, in our past administrations that, of course, you know, they were saying that they were trying to stop all those things, but they were not actually doing anything about it. They were just letting these people get away from this. And then right now, especially now of the facts that uh, we have been seeing and then we've been... Uh, um, we've been uh, knowing that everything has been proven that it's not only the ordinary citizens that are being actually involved in these kinds of uh, crimes but they're actually coming from people who are really <clears throat> serving us as our people that we have tr entrusted our lives and our safety and this is what we call this people in the government that everybody has voted in order to protect us unfortunately things are really coming to uh, a point where they cannot hide the truth anymore and I'm so glad that everything is just coming to its end okay and this is a great example hindi ako nandito para husgahan kung paano ni raid or paano nila nilusob ang bahay ng mga ng mga family but I am here to say something na Kung ang mga ganitong klaseng mga tao na wala nang ginawa kundi i-push o kaya'y maraming nabibiktima lalo-lalo na sa ating mga families 
For me, it doesn't matter anymore kung paano sila lusobin. Ang para sa akin, just the fact that Duterte, Duterte, President Duterte has been very determined para lusobin talaga at para mabawasan na ang mga taong ito. And then, hopefully, they will come to an end na lahat na sila ay talagang mawala na. As in, makalusan na talaga sila. Because we don't need these people in our society. And then, para sa akin, sabi nila na tao rin ang mga to, mga mamamayan din, mga, uh, mga tao rin na dapat nating pag-alayan ng uh, pagmamahal, pangunawa. But as far as I'm concerned, being somebody who's been always promoting, trying to promote love, peace, unity, harmony, and of course prosperity in the absence of love kasi ang mga to wala na silang pagmamahal eh. if they have the intention to destroy us meaning to say there's the absence of love right there meaning to say kahit ano pang sabihin natin na these people needed to be understood kailangan pag-align din pa rin natin sila ng love but As far as I'm concerned, wala ng love pagdating sa kanila. Ang mga durugista, wala ng love sa kanila. Take my word for that. So, the only way would be do whatever Duterte has already started. And I'm so proud. President, I really salute you because I am sure na dahil sa ginagawa ninyo, Nina Bato, Well, talagang saludong saludo pa ako. Go for it. And I, you have, you definitely have my full support.